Holy f**k, that thing took off. Oh my god. 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 All systems currently green. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. E minus 15, stand by for terminal count. Alright guys, final. Elon, spectacular. What did you learn? What did Falcon Heavy teach you? Uh, teaches, I guess, told me like crazy things can come true. Um, like, because I, uh, it's not like I didn't really think this would work. Um, cause I, when I see the rocket lift off, I see like a thousand things that that could not work, and it's amazing when they do. I think certainly uh, being focused on something that you're confident will have high value to someone else um, and just being really rigorous in making that assessment um, mm -hmm. because people are, tend, tend to, a natural human tendency is wishful thinking. Um, mm -hmm. So a, a challenge for entrepreneurs is to say, well, what's the difference between really believing in your ideals and sticking, sticking to them versus pursuing some unrealistic dream that right. doesn't actually have merit. And it's, it's, that, is a, it, that is a really difficult thing to, to tell you. Can you tell the difference between those two things? Right. You know? So you need to be sort of very rigorous um, in, in your self-analysis. Uh, self um, I think certainly extremely tenacious uh, and, um, and then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. And then that, that, that all those things improve the odds of success. Okay. Um, I mean, if, 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 if other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing, you know that in, in one year you will achieve what they achieve. You, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. Uh, generally, starting a business, I'd say number one is have a high pain threshold. <laughs> That's it. Um, there's a friend of mine who's got a good saying, which is that starting a company is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Okay, that's, um, that's generally what happens. Because um, when you first start a company, there's lots of optimism and things, things are great. And then, so happiness at first is high. Then you encounter all sorts of issues uh, and happiness will steadily decline. <laughs> and then you'll go through a whole world of hurt. <laughs> that's, and then eventually, You'll, if you succeed, and in most cases you will not succeed, um, and, and Tesla almost didn't succeed, came very close to failure, um, then if, if you succeed, then after a long time, you will finally get back to happiness. <laughs> Third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Eight weeks later, Musk bet the company on another flight. We have liftoff. And this time around, everything worked. Perfect. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount a fifth. <laughs>